Hey, what's up guys? Quick video here. So, um, as you guys know, their eclipse is coming up on Monday, the 21st of August of this year, 2017. And if you're like me and you didn't buy all the um, special um, eclipse glasses, now they're like $100 if you even find any. So, here's what we can do as an alternative. We're going to make a camera obscura pinhole uh, projector uh, kind of thing with a can of Pringles. And um, this basically... All you need is a can of Pringles if, and a sheet of paper. If you want to make it fancier like I'm going to try to do, then um, you can do the same as I'm doing. Oh, you're also going to need a hammer and a nail. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is um, empty the can of Pringles, clean it up, wipe it down, all that good stuff. Um, keep this because we're going to be using this as a template for the projection screen. Um, so keep this and then um, I'm using um, well th this is any kind any spray paint can and then I have I have uh, this handle for for like the, the saran wrap for moving and all of this is going to be um, to support the top while I, when I hammer it so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to find I mean you don't have to do the center because you're gonna have to aim anyway but I like to do the center um, just to so that everything is symmetrical. So I have these little clamps, so you can use anything, any straight edge or whatever, but I like to use this because I would like to, it help, kind of helps me get to the center more easily. So, um, yeah, so this is basically center. Now I'm gonna mark it with my pencil. I'm gonna do both sides. Should be getting a line here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do it perpendicularly. It doesn't have to be perpendicular, but you know, it helps. Okay, take it off. Hopefully you can see. All right, there's the center. Now I'm gonna take these two things, put them inside each other. Now I can take my little nail, my hammer, and I'm going to put it in the center here, and very gently. Um, I'm going very slowly because um, the smaller the hole, the crisper the image, but the smaller and the fainter it will be. So, um, there you go. Now we have a hole. And the thing is, uh, I can we can go out and test it and uh, see if it's good enough. Oops. Um, and if not, then you can make it wider. Um, but it'll be harder to make it less wide. Actually, I need a little bit more time just to test it. Okay, there we go. We have a pinhole. Yeah. See, we have a little hole. All right, as you can see, I've already made another one. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this as a stencil to get another um, another one of these projections. And I mean, you're probably gonna wanna cut it on the inside, so I'm making more of a rough outline than actual, than actual perfect copy. Oops. Oh man, I might have, that's too bad. But well, anyway, it doesn't really matter that much because this is just where the sun's gonna project. So now we cut it. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so here it is. Um, actually, you could probably be more specific, more um, accurate with a set of calipers and a compass. So here's the um, here's the screen. Um, goes in there, and then you close it. And that's it. Oh man. 
But uh, here, you might, might want to do it a little bigger, um, or glue it. You can glue it to the bottom. Anyway, um, so this is the most simple that you can do it. Um, let's give it a shot, and then we can see what improvements we can go from there if you stick around. Okay, let's go check it out. So here you go, we're outside, and then all we need to do is aim it at the sun. It's kind of hard to do it in camera. Oh, there you go. And then, there you go, do you see that dot? That is a projection of the sun. So there you go. It is that easy. Now, uh, what we can do is make some improvements so it's easier to see and hopefully we have a bigger dot. Um, the nice thing about it is that uh, it's a pretty, pretty, um, it's a pretty clear and sharp image, but it's pretty small and pretty dim, so we'll fix that. All right, stick around. All right. Okay, now for our next step, we're gonna spray paint the inside black. I'm gonna give it a primer first, and then I'm going to uh, do some black to make sure that the inside is not reflective and see if we can improve the image. All right, let's give it a shot. All right guys, so this is the supposed improvement that I made. Um, basically what I did was I painted the inside black and then I designed this um, a viewer. I originally wanted it to be um, able to focus with the lens, like a little Google Cardboard lens that I had, but honestly I was trying to do it very quickly and I didn't do the tolerances very well and it didn't work out but still you still have this this window here and you can see like for example there you go that's kinda how it would look like you can see the projection from in there and you can put your eye in there and keep it keep it dark and keep it better anyway um, so yeah maybe I'll go, maybe I'll fix this eventually and, and, and put up a video of how that's supposed to work and, and all that but for now you can now see the eclipse on Monday. Good luck, everybody. See ya.